Okay, in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can connect your cell phone to your wireless printer. You're going to learn how to print a document, print an image, and scan to and from your phone. I'll be working with the Epson Workforce series. Let's get started. Now the first thing you want to do is go into your app store. I'm on an Android, so I'm going to the Play Store. And then the app is called Epson Print. So as you see, I've already downloaded it, but you simply download Epson Print and then we're going to open it. Since mine is already, since I've already downloaded, this is what it looks like. When you first download it, it's going to look just like this. And you're going to click this blue tab right here, this blue tab. And then the blue tab will take you to this screen. You click printers, and then you will either add it through your local Wi Fi, your manual IP, or the remote. I just used my local Wi Fi. And then it found my printer. And then once you find your printer, you're ready to see your ink. You can see your ink level. You can see your maintenance box service life. You can buy ink and toner. You can clean your heads, you can clean your nozzle or firmware update. So in order to clean your heads, you would just simply hit the uh, drop down arrow, clean head, yes or no. The nozzle, same thing, yes or no. Firmware, same thing, yes or no. So now that your cell phone is connected to your printer, let's move to the next step and that's printing the sheet. As a bonus, I'm going to show you just how accurate and up to date your cell phone talks to your printer. I'm gonna go back into my printer settings and as you can see my black ink cartridge is extremely low. Here's an ink cartridge, here's a brand new one. I'm about to load this and then we'll see this change. Just loaded the ink and let's check it. As you see it's up to date. The connection between your cell phone and the printer is always live. Now we're ready to print. So we're back on the home screen. Let's say you want to print a photo. So I tap photo and it opens up your photo app. I'm going to just select this particular one, this Black Friday sale. So let's say this is the photo I want to clip, I mean print. I would hit select, go to next. As you see, it's telling me the size right here, 4.6, 4, 4, 4 by 6 or 10 by 15 centimeters. If I just hit print right now, it would print. But right here, the settings button, you select the settings button and you can select how many copies, the paper size, the media type, the layout, the print quality. You know, you can customize the, the print exactly how you want it. So I would hit done and then let's go back. Let's go back. So now let's say you want to print a document. Let's go here to save documents. I'm going to go to my SD card. I have a document saved right here. Okay, this particular document, you see it says one of 12. So this one's perfect. So one of 12, as you see, I just go through one of 12. So this is slide number four out of 12. So let's say I don't want to print all 12 and I just want to print one. I go into my settings right here, copies, one copy, printing range. I select that. Print all, I don't want to print all, so I turn that off. Start, I want to start on the fourth page, and I want to end on the fourth page. Then I hit done. So now as you see right here, it says printing range, right there, four. So I'm going to hit print, I'm going to hit done. And then I'm gonna hit print. And as soon as it as soon as I hit print, you'll hear the printer start. So this is live right here. Printing 81%. Let me turn the camera. There's the printer. Let's look at the image. It's coming out. So let's look at the image. Let's go back to page four. As you see, here's page four, and it printed page four. 
Now let's say that you want to print an image that's not on your phone. So right here it says document capture. It's pretty much what you think. You select document capture, you hit OK, you get these little lines right here. You get the lines and then you just, I don't know if you can see the lines on the cell phone. Okay, there they go. So you line the lines up on the paper on whatever it is you want to capture. Do the best I could do here. You hit capture. You take a picture. The picture is on your phone and then you can go into your adjustments and from here you can see these little red circles. You can make adjustments and then that's how you can print if the document wasn't on your phone. There's actually another way to print images. Right here where it says online storage. So I select that. You have Box, Dropbox, Evernote, Google Drive, Microsoft OneDrive. I'm actually logged into my Google Drive. I select it. It goes into Google Drive. I select my first image. It downloads the image. And come on, you can do it. So it downloads the image and then I'm just going to hit print. Again, we're going to print this. You just learned how to print a image, how to print a saved document, how to go to your online storage in the cloud and print, or actually capture a document and take a, take a picture and then print that. Here's something I think that's pretty cool. We're going to take this document right here and we're going to use the scan. So we simply select scan and as you see it says scan and it says place an image document, an image slash document and then press the scan button. So I'm going to take this image, this document, put it in the top feeder. Then you press scan on your phone and hit scan on the phone and watch as it scans it's live. So you're going to see it scanning and the image is going to develop on your phone as it's scanning. So the paper just went through, scanning to your phone and the paper is coming out of the printer. I don't know how good I'm filming this but as you see it just scanned to my phone. Now it's on the phone it's on the phone and you can email it. You can save it into Box, Dropbox, Evernote, Google Drive. You can, like I said, you can email it or you can print it. Just like when you're printing, how you can go into your settings and change the quantity, the color, the paper quality, you could do the same with scanning. So I just hit the settings button and you can change your source, the scanning size, image type, the quality, I mean the quality, the resolution, two-sided scanning. So you can go into your scanning set settings and make some changes as well. You know, to scan the image onto your phone, I think that's pretty cool because maybe you don't want it in your email, maybe you want instant access. It creates a folder called Epson Print or something like that. And it's just, it, it was, at least it was in my gallery. So everything that I scanned to my phone showed up in that folder. I think that's pretty cool. Now, with all this you just learned, you're one step closer to mastering everything about the Epson printer. Now, there's two more apps that you have. It's called Creative Print and then just more apps. I don't want this video to get that long, so I'll make those on a separate video. As usual, I appreciate your time. I thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up. Be sure to get back with you. You guys have a nice day.